She just wanted a good profile picture, but one click took her further than she ever imagined. She faced the most feared warrior in the galaxy, fought for survival in a world ruled by the undead, cooked under pressure with the most terrifying chef in the multiverse, and discovered that the magic was always inside her. Across the multiverse. Welcome back. Now that you've seen Anna's journey across the multiverse, I want to show you exactly how I did it and how you can create your own consistent AI character for storytelling. One of the most common problems when working with AI image generators is character inconsistency. Sometimes the face changes, sometimes the hair, sometimes even the outfit. And that makes visual storytelling really hard. That's why prompt crafting and seed locking are so important. The first step to create our consistent characters is to open a new chat in ChatGPT. Now we're going to go to our Word file where I've already left you the prompt to create images and characters and we're going to copy the entire prompt up to where it says respond only with understood. This prompt is designed so that ChatGPT gives us a complete and very detailed description of each of the images we ask for, regardless of whether we give it all those details or not. Now that ChatGPT has understood our instructions, we move on to the next step, in which I am already asking for the generation of my character. Here, I've put some fields in parentheses that are the only ones you need to change. The rest already gives a pretty good description of a character. In my case, she is Anna, a 28-year-old Mexican woman, and everything else I can leave exactly the same. She's a Mexican girl with Mexican features, and that's the image I wanted to put in completely random scenes and really make her stand out. We click on Generate to receive the prompt. So once we have the prompt, what we're going to do is go to Google FX. I'll leave the link in the description, and we're going to log in with our account. Any Gmail email works. We'll accept the privacy policy, and that's it. We can now use our account. We're going to select depending on the size we want our images to be. In my case, it will be horizontal because it's for long YouTube videos. We copy our prompt, paste it, and click on Create. As we can see in the case of the four images, it's basically the same person. She has the same features, the same clothes, so we can consider this a consistent character. Now what I did was ask for different scenes to put them all together in editing software. If you want to know how to do that video editing and put all your animations together to make a complete video, I'll leave a video up here explaining how to do that process. So here in the prompts, I already have four completely different scenes among them in which I am including my main character so that ChatGPT puts in the background and the scene, the movements, and everything we need for my main character to be part of those new scenes. So for example, I asked it here for one where she is fighting Darth Vader. We go to ChatGPT and give it this scene. We copy the entire prompt, and now this step is very important. We are going to delete everything we have in our previous prompt so that it is completely clean. We are going to paste our new prompt, and here where it says configuration, we are going to click and see this little lock. We are going to click it to close it. This has locked the seed, which is the initial image it generated for us. So this image generator will work with that same description and will only change the background and the actions the character is performing. So once this is ready and we have locked the seed, we are going to click on create. And this is the result in which our main character is facing Darth Vader. As you can see, it's the same character. She has the same characteristics, the same expressions, only she is in a different setting. Now I'm going to give chat.gpt the rest of my scenes to show you how in each of the creations, the character continues to remain consistent and with the same characteristics. If we notice again, it is the same character, only now she is in a completely different scene surrounded by zombies, and although she keeps the same clothes, well, it also combines or rather agrees with the context that she is in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. Again, we can see that we have the same character with the same characteristics, the glasses, the same type of hair, and she is next to a chef who looks like Gordon Ramsay. Obviously, we cannot use the character as such because it is a registered trademark. However, we can make it look as similar as possible. It is very important that we do not forget to empty this field of the prompt from the previous prompts, because if we leave something from our previous prompt, it can be confusing for the image generator, and it won't know what the new instructions are, and then we will receive a mixed result. Once it is completely empty, 
we paste our prompts, and with that, we ensure that it will specifically respect the prompt we want to work with. As we can see, we again receive the same character, with the same type of hair, the same glasses, etc. What we needed was fulfilled, except that in addition to respecting the initial clothing, which is a dark blue sweater and a white dress blouse underneath, it added the details of the cape, and also added the tie to match the magical world of Harry Potter. The result is quite, quite incredible. Once we have all our images of all the different scenes we generated with our same character, all we have to do is download them by clicking on this little button here, which is the download arrow, and that's it. With this, we can now generate our videos, animations, stories, or anything else we want to work on. So to recap, ask ChatGPT to help you write a strong base prompt. Generate a neutral character image. Lock the seed when you get one you like. Reuse the same prompt every time and only change the context. Let ChatGPT help you write new scene ideas. This process saved me so much time, keeps everything visually consistent, and opens up tons of creative possibilities. If this tutorial helped you, let me know in the comments. I'd love to see what characters you're creating. And if you want more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell so you don't miss a thing.